Alrighty guys, thank you for stopping by my channel. Right here I'm going to show you how to do a plant bed, a low maintenance plant bed. Right here we got the Japanese uh, maple, is the blood good? And um, yeah guys, right here we also have the uh, Japanese uh, boxwood. I like this boxwood because it got a good vibrant greenish color, almost like a lime green as you could tell. And I did a questionnaire on my Instagram, so uh, you choose, y'all guys chose this, the boxwood and the Japanese maple. So here we go, guys. We're about to um, start uh, doing this. So what I did, I took the pick right there, um, try to remove all the gravel that I have right there in the uh, in the plant bed, and then I got too frustrated, so I got a uh, I got a tiller right there so that's what i'm doing right there just tilling so yeah guys right there i did like i right here i did a, a like a trench because uh the japanese uh boxwood what i'm gonna the shrubs i'm gonna be put, putting them along uh right here the edge and yeah guys sorry i just been busy i haven't been making a lot of videos i just been busy we we got a few commercial properties and um yeah guys business is booming right now so that's what we're doing and i took off all the rocks and i just cleaned out the bed and then uh what i did right now is i spaced out uh the shrubs where i wanted them and uh, as you can see right there the japanese maple tree as well that one was really really expensive uh i paid like a hundred dollars for that one and that was the smallest one they had so uh yeah <laughs> and then uh, i grabbed some topsoil just kind of scattered them around and this is the one the one i'm using is cow manure and compost uh, i think the bag was like a dollar dollar 80 or something like that so i got maybe like eight and i'm putting them right there uh, along the trench so whenever i put the shrubs i could go ahead and um and fill up the shrubs because like i said it was really 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 rocky and i was gonna get me a yard of a uh, compost uh, or topsoil but uh all the nurseries were actually uh closed well all the nearby nurseries were closed so i just went i just went to uh lowe's um i'm gonna be putting the um all the material list down below so if you want to do this it's really really low maintenance i really didn't want a lot of plants i just wanted the shrubs and uh yeah i paint my hair uh pink guys for uh um, breast cancer awareness so I know it's not till October, but I mean, I'm trying to do a little bit early. What I'm doing right there is um, I got that little uh, metal rake. And what I'm doing is just taking off all these rocks, man. There's a whole bunch of rocks. And uh, yeah. And then right there, I'm going to plant it. And then I'm going to start throwing all that uh, manure around it or that topsoil. And what you want to do, guys, do this for all the shrubs, and you'll be good. Just make sure all the big rocks are, are out. They should be pretty good. And, yeah, I'm just going to speed it up right here. It took me maybe all day, guys. It was me and my wife, uh, and, man, it was really, really hot. I had to drink me a couple of beers. <laughs> So this Japanese maple, man, uh, I'm really, they're really, really fragile. So what I did right here is I, I dig maybe about two to two, a two inch hole around uh, the uh, the maple tree. And then I dig down maybe about, I'll say like six inches. So I was taking off all the debris, all the rock, all the clay. And uh, what I did, I, I took off all the rocks, the clay, and then I put uh, some, some compost some cow manure and um, yeah guys because uh, I really really don't want this uh, maple tree to die on me so and as you can see I'm just taking off all the rocks and yeah put a little bit of you know compost in there took up all the debris What you want to do is take off the tree and just put some more of uh, compost on there. And, 
yeah I was really really tired already so that's what you want to do um, I'll grab the shovel right here and put a little bit more hey guys if you like this video man go ahead and uh, like comment and subscribe guys uh, so I could keep posting these videos uh, also go ahead and follow me on TikTok at peewees lawn care 1587 uh, I'll post a lot of more videos there just since I'm really busy you know this is the black moss that we got and um, yeah we're just putting the mulch uh, separating the mulch put in, I didn't put any weed fabric um, just to the to the fact that uh, there's not a lot of weeds that are gonna come out of here so I'm gonna be nitpicking later on as you can tell my wife right there she's helping me out uh, rake out the uh, the mulch I really like this mulch because it really stays black for a while it stays black for a while so uh, yeah guys like I said I'm gonna put all the uh, material list down below in the description like I said if you like this video go ahead and comment like subscribe uh, like I said this is part four part five is gonna be uh, the concrete I just been waiting on the um, on the molds from Lowe's I've been waiting almost like a month and a half so I told my wife hey you know we're gonna gotta make a video so we just went ahead and uh, bought the stuff it took me also a month to find the Japanese maple here in Houston Texas uh, there's a nursery I'll put the the details in the description below if y'all are looking for Japanese maples they also have big ones but they range anywhere from like 400 all the way to 600 so uh, yeah guys and uh, right here this is the end result uh, looks really really beautiful like I said I just wanted the shrubs and a, and a maple tree and uh, yeah guys here's a Japanese maple looking beautiful yeah, guys, like I said, if you like these videos, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on part five. Thank you.